Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me for your tarot reading. Today we're going to be looking at your current situation. So anything that's been on your mind, anything you've been thinking about, worrying about, anything that's sort of at the forefront of your mind, um, we're going to be doing this reading to see what's coming up in the cards about your situation and any, any sort of um, advice that we can get as well. So this is for the Scorpios watching, but anyone out there dealing with a Scorpio, this can be for you as well. Um, anyone out there after a private reading, please email me. We can try and arrange that for you. So I will send you over the booking details. Feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoy this content and please subscribe to the channel to join my little YouTube family. So we'll see what comes up here for you. Um, you can also sign up and become a channel member, which will get you access to bonus readings and extended versions as well. Let's have a look, Scorpio. What is the overall energy? You've got the page of swords. So I see you thinking back on a lot of things and I feel like the situation on your mind or the situation that's unfolding is something to do with the past uh, or, or it's like the past is resurfacing and affecting the future of this connection. So I see you looking back and reflecting on some things here uh, with that page of, uh, page of swords energy. It may be around an air sign or you've got some thoughts that are coming up here, Scorpio, but that's like, they're not the most positive of thoughts. They're sort of thoughts that take you to a darker place or thoughts that, you know, aren't very helpful in terms of needing to stay positive about this situation here. There's a reason why you keep thinking back at these thoughts because clearly it is affecting you. Um, it's affecting you on a very large scale, obviously. Uh, and I feel like with the Page of Swords, I felt something is quite premature. The word I'm getting is premature. So it's too early or not enough has happened for you to sort of wrap your head around things. So it could indicate that things are very much in their early stages of whatever this is that's going on around you. It may be concerning with someone younger or if you're involved in a love connection with someone who is being immature in love or hasn't been in a relationship for a very long time. Maybe they don't really know what's going on with them, um, with their thoughts and their feelings. Maybe they, maybe they're unsure. Okay, let's see what else comes up around this between yourself and them. Okay, Aries has come up a couple of times. So you have Aries energy around you. Okay, you're being stubborn about this. It's almost like you're holding on to something and you're not letting go. You can't seem to just drop it or try to move forward with it. Every time you try to do that, it all, it's almost like it pulls you back in. So again, childlike energy with the sun card. I feel like there is a situation where there is impulsivity. Someone's being super, super impulsive here and it's not helping the situation move forward. The emperor is quite demanding in his own means. So someone's sort of like putting it on you, a loved one, someone you're connected to here. Uh, and they're sort of deharmonizing you. They're cramping your style a little bit here, Scorpio. They're, they're telling you things that are making you second guess yourself or doubt yourself. I, I do get for some of you, it's putting you down. Uh, and I feel like you're just in an energy where you want to be happy, but yet you feel like you can't move forward because you keep reflecting back on, on what this person has done or how they felt uh, as, as they sort of, especially if this is sort of like an abusive situation here, I do feel like the emperor does or knows how to put you down. So obviously this person knows which buttons to push. Okay. They know how to push your buttons. They know 
how to cramp your style. You've been with the Ten of Cups. You've delivered the goods. You've stepped up for this person and you've really been there for them. And I feel like there's someone here who's taken advantage of that. So I can't say I'm too surprised you're in that Page of Swords situation. They told you they'd stop this or they told you they'd get better and, and maybe they haven't. Maybe they're still continuing. And, you know, there's only so much you can handle with that Ten of Wands before it just gets too much. You know, before it gets to a stage where things are just too much for you to handle you know you'll you'll have to draw the line somewhere uh, it just depends how soon you'll do it the ten of cups is here which is a good sign i think that's pointing to like a resolution is on the cards and it's possible to mend things once again um, i think right now you're there's a lot of thoughts coming your way and like i said it takes you to a darker place but Sometimes we need to go through the storm uh, in order to get to that rainbow. So that's coming up here for a reason. Um, weathering the storm and coming out and finding the light once again with the sun and, and, and that rainbow, that ten of cups is like um, that fulfillment kind of energy, that fulfillment card. I don't know if the past is going to come back for some of you. It may, and I think I, I would assume from what I'm seeing here is that you may entertain it. But I'm not getting, like, there could be the reunion with the Ten of Cups, but I think it's more about the current situation here. And it's there's a dynamic of a connection here where someone is more like the child, someone's more innocent and carefree and not really... Um, taking much responsibility and the other is taking too much on and the other is sort of calling the shots and it's the the relationship is going how they want it so one of you is assuming that child role and the other is assuming that emperor and they're very very different um i don't necessarily think it's a difference in personalities i think it's a difference in how you do things and how they do things and then it's this this difference that's really showing up in the cards here I do feel like you need to get your ducks in a row a little bit with the Eight of Wands. It's sort of like getting things in order uh, because the Eight of Wands like literally piles on top of the Ten of Wands. Like there's only so much he can carry and then you've got the, those extra Eight of Wands coming his way. He, he doesn't even see it yet. So I feel like things could get worse before they get better. It's always darkest before the dawn, but... Uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. There always is light. There's always options. Because I feel like you want to shine. You want to step out of your comfort zone. There's something that you want here, whether it's marriage or children. We've got children that have come up a couple times. Uh, and it's, it's something that you know deep down in your heart of hearts. It's something that you know you want. And I feel for a lot of you, to have this taken away or to have history repeat itself once again is very, very discouraging. But I see you happy here with the Ten of Cups. Ultimately, in the long run, I see you happy. Um, I don't know if this is a new connection entirely that's coming back up or a second chance at things, um, but it could be on the cards here. But I definitely feel with that emperor, there's a lot of pleasing happening, but it's only for one person. And that creates an unfair kind of relationship because there's either a lot of give or a lot of take. Uh, and there's not enough, you know, there's not enough. One wants this, the other one wants that, but the other's needs are completely ignored. And then it creates this, this tension that you have um, going on here. And I feel like it'll keep repeating itself. The sun is this spherical cycle. But I do, I feel like someone is preventing you from shining, from doing what you want. Maybe it's having the career that you want, um, doing the kind of work that you want, um, having as many children as you want, or having marriage or remarriage, or there's something to your standard that, as I said, you want for yourself. And it's like, Someone's being a bit of a wet blanket here and not letting that happen. And then it's making you doubt things. And before you didn't doubt them, it's only after this person who you obviously see as someone very influential. 
you know, obviously the people that matter to us, their thoughts and opinions are going to matter to us as well. We're going to take it on board. We're going to listen to what they have to say. We're going to mull it over. Uh, but I think there needs to be a line like Scorpio. I think you need to consider what they're saying. Do you need to treat it as gospel? Maybe not. Um, but, you know, even just thinking about what they have to say, that's, that's, that's going to a lot of extent to show that you care uh, and you really do respect this person's opinions and whatnot. But I just don't want them putting you down in a place where you're like constantly thinking you can't do this or you can't say that or you can't be this or you can't have that because there's a lot of can'ts, can't do this, we can't do that. And like, there's only so much you can take, right? Um, so I feel like it's breaking free from that sort of hold that someone may have on you and really shining, um, shining your light internally and externally in the relationship here as well. So I'm going to wrap it up there though, Scorpio. So thank you for watching. It really does mean a lot. Uh, don't forget to like and also subscribe to the channel. Um, anyone after a private reading, please email me. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.